Red, white, and blue election coverage now, and it's a mad dash to meet the voter ID requirement before the November election. A lot of the concern involves absentee ballots. Charles Benson is live outside Milwaukee City Hall, where things are sort of on hold, Charles. Yeah, at city halls across the state, the uh, clerks are looking for clarity and uniformity as the election approaches. But some say there is confusion and uncertainty with the clock ticking. From Brookfield, how to implement it to the biggest city in the state. Do we need to secure the ID from these absentee voters before their ballots can be released? Everyone is scrambling to set up the new voter ID requirement. They've had some practice before the court battles. In February 2012, primary voters were required to show an ID. But voter turnout was very low compared to what is expected in November. In 2012, clerks had seven months to prepare for voter ID. This time around, they have seven weeks, and absentee ballots are supposed to go out this week. Our hope is to at least begin the process of mailing absentee ballots by the end of this week. So what are you telling people who are calling, emailing, hold on? We're asking for their patience. Milwaukee expects 15,000 absentee voters. Statewide, the number could be more than 200,000. Some have already been sent out. Clerks will also have to contact voters and inform them they need to submit a copy of their photo ID before the clerk will mail their ballot. Clerks are also waiting on instructions to bring poll workers up to speed on the new law. In Milwaukee, that adds up to 1,500 poll workers. What are the um, training procedures that we need to give to the poll workers? So again, if you expect an absentee ballot, you're going to have to produce a copy of an ID. Now, IDs are not required for military or overseas absentee voters. We're live outside City Hall, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Charles. By the way, the DMV is extending its hours to help people get a photo ID. The location on Mill Road in Milwaukee and on Grange Avenue in Greendale will be open this Saturday from 8.30 until noon.